On the 23rd of July 2020, Oman celebrates its 50th Renaissance Day. Exactly half a century ago, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said al Said acceded to the throne and established the modern Sultanate. On the death of Sultan Qaboos in January 2020, Sultan Haitham bin Tariq al Said came to the throne and has been responsible for successfully navigating the country through the early challenges associated with COVID 19. The strides that the country has made under the leadership of Sultan Qaboos since 1970 were transformative. Significant investments across the economy took Oman from an underdeveloped, isolated country with poor basic facilities and infrastructure and turned it into a thriving economy with much improved living standards for all citizens. In the first few years of his reign, the country joined global organisations and witnessed the first of many large-scale infrastructure projects that helped facilitate connections and trade between previously more disparate regions. As the population expanded from 723,000 inhabitants to nearly 5 million today, income more than kept up. As GDP per capita increased 46-fold. The life expectancy was raised by 27 years. And infant mortality rates declined from 216 to 11 per 1,000 live births. These major improvements in health outcomes were possible thanks to a significant investment in basic healthcare infrastructure, including the development of 67 additional hospitals. The infrastructure transformation is one of the most illuminating and serves as an important foundation for the continued development of the country. When Sultan Qaboos came to the throne, only three kilometres of paved roads existed in the entire Sultanate. Since then, Oman has developed some of the best road networks, not just in the region but worldwide, ranking in the global top 10 for road quality with its more than 60,000 kilometres of well maintained road infrastructure. Meanwhile, three large seaports in Salala, Soha, and Dukum have driven economic growth and facilitated diversification. While the 10 airports constructed since 1970 serve the growing number of both local and international business and leisure travellers. In 1970, the country was almost entirely closed to foreigners, whereas today Oman welcomes 2.3 million international visitors yearly. While tourism has been one of the key focus areas in recent years, Oman has also made significant strides in industrial development, including a boom in manufacturing. In 1970, half of the country's GDP was derived from oil. Thanks to diversification efforts, that figure has been reduced to 21.8%, even as oil production has almost tripled over the same period. These figures are testament to the legacy of the late Sultan, their importance underlined by Sultan Haytham's emphasis on his commitment to continuity. Nevertheless, a half century into the Renaissance, Sultan Haitham is facing one of the country's most challenging moments in the form of the COVID-19 pandemic. The government has responded with stimulus packages aimed at ensuring macroeconomic stability whilst also providing relief for individuals. Omanis whose salaries have been reduced are entitled to have bank loans restructured with no additional interest or fees. Fuel subsidies were also put in place and electricity and water bills temporarily frozen. The authorities also acted quickly to limit the spread of the virus itself. A range of measures have been implemented, including travel restrictions on international flights and internal public transportation services, the closure of schools, universities, malls and non-essential shops, and the suspension of prayers and mosques. Meanwhile, major cities went through a period of complete lockdown. While the economic impact is set to resonate across many key sectors, particularly energy and tourism, there have also been encouraging signs from the nascent tech sector, which was quickly mobilised in the face of the virus. Meanwhile, the Muscat-based Research Council has launched a COVID-19 research programme, headed by experts from various research institutes across the Sultanate. 
This has provided financial support to projects conducting short-term applied research in various clinical and non-clinical fields associated with the pandemic. Oman's ability to coordinate an effective and rapid response to the COVID-19 threat has been underpinned by 50 years of social and economic progress across all sectors. Looking ahead, the Sultanate's economic resilience will continue to be tested as the full, longer-term impacts of the pandemic become apparent, and in particular, the country's ongoing vulnerability to oil price shocks pose concern. However, this is likely to provide greater momentum to Oman's Vision 2040 goals, a diversification plan developed under the leadership of Sultan Haitham, and which provides a roadmap for the first 20 years of the next half-century of Oman's continuing renaissance.